This is the shell game, which is usually played for money, but in this case, we'll do it for fun. The magician shows that he has three shells, completely empty, nothing in his hands, and just a single P. He flips the shells over, and he puts the middle shell over the P. Now he tells you that he's going to mix the shells up, and all you have to do is pay attention to where the P is. Now he'll ask you, is it under this one? And you'll obviously say no. Everybody says no. Now he'll say, is it under this one? This is probably where you think it is. Of course, if you bet on that, you'd be wrong. It's always under this one. The secret to this trick is all sleight of hand. It has nothing to do with the actual shells. There's no holes in the shells or, or magnets or anything like people always think. Um, and you don't actually have to use any fancy props like these shells. You could use walnuts, like a half a walnut. That would still work. Uh, but if you do plan on doing this trick professionally, uh, I would suggest going out and buying some nicer, like I have these metal shells, they're painted gold. And I'll put a link in the comments on where you can get these. Uh, they're definitely worth the money. So here's how this works. Everyone always thinks that there's a magic table involved or something about this mat, and it's really not. Although the mat itself, the surface, definitely helps with the move. When the shell is on top of the pea, and this pea is made of rubber, if you roll the shell forward and backward, the pea slides out from under it. That just happens automatically. So if you slide forward, the pea slides out. So now, when your hand is behind it, between these two fingers, you're going to catch the pea as it comes out. And now you move your hand around. Of course, they don't see that because your fingers are blocking it. You can move your hand to this shell. And when you slide it backward, it automatically rolls over the pea, like that. Your hands are going to cover the motion, of course. So here's how it'll look. You're going to show the shells empty. You'll show your hands are empty and just a single pea. And you'll flip them over. Now it's all about the motions, right? So you put this under the P, clearly you do. Sometimes they don't believe you, you gotta show them again that it's there, show them nothing in your hands. Now, this is the motion I use, but of course you can figure out your own movement that you like to follow. I move both of these up here, then I move this one forward, and now as I move it forward, it's jumping over the P, and the P is now out and free, and I catch it in my finger, so it's gonna look like this. Now I can take my hand back, and I'm holding the P. I move this one here, I slide this, now I'm gonna pop it right under, I slide this back, just popping it back under. They think it's there, so they're watching that one pretty intensely. Now, very simply, easily move this one back. You show your hands, you flip them over, 